at 10, a citizen-led petition is asking the state of Missouri to conduct an audit on the city of St. Louis. The city has had an influx of money over the last few years, and residents are concerned the money isn't being used for the people's best interest. Fox 2's Ty Hawkins explains why residents are fighting for answers. The federal government gave the city of St. Louis nearly $500 million more than three years ago. Where's the money being spent? Where's it going? Now, the residents of St. Louis are asking the state of Missouri to step in to find out. The, the transparency of where that money's going is a very large concern. The good thing about when you follow money is it tells you very clearly where things went. St. Louis small business owner Andrew Polachek, along with more than 7,000 residents, signed a petition requesting the state of Missouri do a performance audit on the city of St. Louis. A financial audit tie, it says numbers tie. Performance audit says, did the money go where you said it was supposed to go and did it meet the parameters it was supposed to meet? Polachek says 10 of the 14 aldermen who also signed the petition agree. He says the city has been given hundreds of millions of dollars in federal money. Now it's time to see where it's been going. It's an enormous opportunity we've never had. And when you see it squandered, and I think that is the right term, it seems like it's being squandered. It's a lost opportunity that could affect generations. And I think that's, it's an tr absolute travesty. A spokesman for the mayor's office sent Fox to this statement saying, the city of St. Louis would be happy to cooperate with an audit from the Missouri State Auditor's Office. The audit would look into the 22 city departments Mayor Tashara Jones oversees, including the St. Louis Development Corporation. All about community. Tamika Steigers has been the owner of Locks of Glory on Delmar for 15 years. She applied for a grant through SLDC in September 2023 and learned she wasn't awarded financial assistance when the department posted on its website. After filling out the application correctly online and corresponding with her alderwoman, she wonders why a business open less than two years was awarded. I mean, at the end of the day, when you have a business that was just formed in August of 2023 on the list to receive not one but two grants, that's almost $800,000. That's a slap in my face. That's a slap in any business owner who suffered through COVID, had to close their doors, by the grace of God, was able to continue in business and then not receive a grant, but a business like that to receive such a large allocation. She thinks there is a conflict of interest in the grant selection process. The mayor continues to say that there are no legal or compliance issues with what they're doing. There's a moral issue. You're not being true to the word that you say that you want to support small businesses. We reached out to the SLDC, but did not hear back. Steigers believes an audit of all 22 city departments is needed for transparency. This audit will help do that because it's going to see where are the inconsistencies. You're telling the public one thing and then behind your back you're doing something different. That's not good governance at all. Who knows, right? Um, maybe we're wrong, but let's see. Reporting in St. Louis, Ty Hawkins, Fox 2 News.